financial advisors do diligence. Everyone will have an opinion on what you should do with your money. Find out for yourself what's important in your life and establish goals for yourself. And when looking for the right advisor, ask yourself, is this individual trustworthy? Trust is the foundation for all personal and business relationships. The credentials and experience of the advisor are equally important. How long has this individual been licensed and practicing? Do they seem knowledgeable about financial matters? Based upon their credentials, you can determine if they're a generalist or have specific concentrations. When looking for a financial planner for more complex and in-depth financial needs, see if they've got the CFP or Certified Financial Planner designation. Besides finding out about the credentials and experience of the advisor, you can check the advisor's background. All investment advisors will have a file on record called a U4. This file will list any past infractions or written complaints and grievances from past clients. A clean U4 is always a good thing. Go to www.nasdr.com for additional information. The full-service broker like a Merrill Lynch or a Smith Barney usually has the highest fees but the most service. Full-service firms offer more personalized advice and recommendations from their own research departments and analysts. A discount broker like Charles Schwab will be less service-oriented, but their fees will be about one-third of their full-service peers. But they do provide the investor limited guidance and access to research tools. The deep discount online broker is for the investor who's self-directed. TD Ameritrade and Scott Trade are two players in this space. Proprietary advice channels will be limited, and customer service will be scaled back and less personalized. personalized. And now the conclusion. We're drawing to the end of financial empowerment, invest in yourself, and I hope you've learned a lot. I hope you know how to assess where you currently are, to set goals, financial principles, determine what type of investor that you are, learn more about investments, understand retirement and college savings options, learn how to find help to implement your plan. You have the power to shape your financial future. If you don't arm yourself with knowledge of finance, your ignorance will always put you at a disadvantage. Control your finances. Don't let them control you. I want you to enjoy a retirement where you're living out your dreams. I want you to be free of debt and capable of handling life's uncertainties. It's always important to envision wealth and success, but what steps are you taking to get there? I challenge you this very moment to take inventory of your own financial life, to prioritize what's important and what's frivolous. I challenge you to put you and your family first. I want you to attack life with optimism and courage. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. It's time to make your financial matters matter. Thank you for listening, and I hope to hear from you soon.